fresh oxygenated blood is supplied through two vertebral arteries, one on each side, and two internal carotid arteries, one on each side. The vertebral arteries enter through foramen magnum and join together to make the basilar artery. Branches that are given off supply the brain stem and the cerebellum. The carotid arteries enter through the carotid canal, which is part of the temporal bone. The carotid arteries are linked together by communicating arteries, which also link to the basilar artery, thus creating the circle of Willis. Branches that are given off of the circle supply the remainder of the brain. It's useful now to look at the same system but from the brain's point of view. On this model we can see the two vertebral arteries laying on top of the brain stem and joining together to form the basilar artery. And you can observe uh, the branches that come off of it. Now I'm going to turn the model a little bit so that it's oriented as it would be in the head and point out the carotid arteries. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it over and look at the carotid arteries again. You can observe the communicating arteries. Branches coming off of uh, the circle of Willis now uh, are going to supply the remainder of the brain. It encircles the pituitary gland. Oxygenated blood flows through the brain and eventually finds its way into capillary beds. The deoxygenated blood then is collected through a series of veins and these veins uh, connect up with two black structures called venous sinuses that are located between the two layers of the dura mater. On the model I'm pointing to the superior sagittal sinus, another large uh, venous sinus is the transverse sinus. These two black structures then direct deoxygenated blood uh, mainly to the internal jugular vein. On this model uh, we see the common jugular so this is carrying uh, deoxygenated blood that is collected from uh, the brain but also from the face and it's leading back toward the heart. The remainder of the blood uh, is collected and then passes into the vertebral veins. These accompany the uh, vertebral arteries.